the task of calling them home in the big handicap. This will be the last of the 30 runners. All appear loaded, and they're off in the 600,000 euro Friends of the Cut Irish Zarowicz Premier Handicap. Just over two miles in trip, and it is my mate Mozzie leading Jesse Evans. Close up is MC Muldoon, La Hacienda right with them. On the inside, the end of the first furlong is dawn rising with legendary day as they continue in these early stages. And it is MC Muldoon, the grey, who's picked it up, being followed at the end of the opening quarter of a mile by my mate Mozzie. Jesse Evans improving up another grey is Dartan. On the inside is Dawn Rising. They're followed by Moncur. And not far off them is Magellan Strait. As they continue right over on the far side of the track and they're nicely spaced from first to last. And it's the greys coming to the front, MC Muldoon and Dartan. They're separated by a length, another length then to my mate Mozzie Magellan Strait and racing together. Dawn Rising and Jesse Evans, then Legendary Day, who's followed by Novel Legend, The Very Man, and they're followed by Mont Kerr and Lot of Joy, and Charlie Jude is next. And then Final Gesture, right across from the stands with just over 10 furlongs to go. And stretching on in front is MC Muldoon, opens up a three lead, followed in second place by Dartan, just the third is Magellan Strait from my mate Mozzie. And these are being followed by Jesse Evans and Dawn Rising is next with Novel Legend and Legendary Day and Mon Kerr. Further back in the field then to Chally Chewed on the inside. They're further spaced out, heading for the halfway stage in atrocious conditions out there. And it's MC Muldoon reeled in by Dartan, two lengths off them, and third is Magellan Strait. And then my mate Mozzie, Jesse Evans, Dawn Rising, Novel Legend, Legendary Day next with Mon Kerr and the very man. Chally Chute followed by Lot of Joy and La Hacienda, then St. Vincent's Garden, White Captain of Mount Leinster. Final gesture is next. Next, and then Falcon 8 on the inside as they've passed the halfway stage. Further back in the field to HMS Seahorse and then teed up and shoot. Up they go to the top of the hill in the Friends of the Cut Irish Cesarewicz and almost together MC Muldoon and Dartan a length in front of Magellan Strait being followed at the top of the track my mate Mozzie then Jesse Evans Dawn Rising Novel Legend the very man then comes Legendary Day and Mon Kerr next with a lot of joy and Chally shoot final gesture is next then La Hacienda Falcon 8 on the inside of St. Vincent's Garden being followed by Jou on the outside well back in the rock is Tower of London with less than half a mile to go struggling at the back is Brazil the second reserve another one of the back markers is last year's runner up records and rain but they run the home turn it's Dartan who takes up the lead from Magellan straight poised in third is my mate Mozzie Jesse Evans is closing then novel legend being followed inside the final three by Dawn Rising then legendary day lot of joy the very man followed by Falcon 8 in the middle of the track final gesture with Chally Chew racing inside the final two furlongs and my mate Mozzie hits the front from Jesse Evans trying to challenge up the rail is Dawn Rising and then Magellan Strait and Falcon 8 these five break clear the final gesture the very man and then Jack Finbar it's a bunch up inside the final 150 yards Dawn Rising and Magellan Strait they're locked together Falcon 8 coming home late Magellan Strait has landed it from Falcon Falcon 8, Dawn Rising, Jesse Evans, my mate Mozzie, tied up close home, and then Jack Finbar, final gesture next, followed in by the very man, 24, Magellan Strait, Hugh Horgan, what a moment for him. What a moment indeed, and what a result here, this is one of the big outsiders in the field, Magellan Strait, we'll just wait and see what the starting price is here, but... I think we're looking at a three-figure return. No, 50 to one, in fact. I think you could have got three. 150, we're hearing. 150 to one. About Magellan Strait. Jane, he could even have been the outsider of the whole field. If he wasn't, he wasn't far off it. If there's a hard luck story here, Falcon 8, who was very tight for room and seemed to be going really well late on, might be it. Just couldn't get through 
until it was too late for Jake Cohen. Huge run from Dawn Rising, but Magellan Strait has gone on for a famous victory. He has indeed. I have no idea where he sat in the run because the picture was so obscure in the rain, it was hard to see, but he... And we've got a Stewart's inquiry yeah, here. I Falcon doubt it involves be a central the winner. Figure. It doubt involves the winner. But we'll see the head on. Jesse Evans, Miguel and Strait, Dawn Rising, Joseph O'Brien has taken home a big scalp of the money and Hugh Horgan, well done to him, claiming the seven pounds. Let's see this head on if we can watch for the red colours of Jesse Evans Ooh, and the Dartan gives the winner a bump first of all he does indeed now where is um, Dr Lamb's colours he's currently four off the rail Falcon 8 is uh, Dawn Rising just ahead of him Miguel and Strait's going to come a little bit to his right that's because my mate Mozzie comes a little bit to his right yellow caps turning a bit to his left there's not much of a gap there anyway and Robert Weirty keeps him tight I think I don't think there was much of a gap there anyway as my mate Mozzie was going back. Robert Weirty kept a straight line, did he not? Yeah, I think Jay Cohen realised his only chance was to try and burrow through there. He had there, to try, yeah. It didn't happen for him, unfortunately, on Falcon 8. It's on a huge race. 